DNA the name, the heart and soul and the body and mind of Reno government. And what we have here is what they call the consent agenda, where they're going to vote on a whole lot of items all at once, theoretically, housekeeping items. And uh, I'm glad to see that things are so well financially for the city. The bottomless pit of money has returned, apparently, because I add up, if you want to look at your agendas, something in the area of $7 million worth of uh, items that they're going to vote on without discussion and on a consent agenda. Here's one for an award of a contract for 5,600,000 big ones. I wonder if that organization or that company is here to at least, maybe that's the guy over there, he's going to accept this. I don't know, it looks like it. But somebody to accept an award, for a contract for five and a half million dollars. Would you want to stand up and, you know, I guess, never mind. I, I sure, I would be here. I know that's kind of big money. At any rate, um, and I'm not speaking for or against it or anything on here. I do notice here now, finally, after several months, you're apparently going to give out another medical marijuana license. It's, at least it's on the agenda. And for those who have forgotten about Sam's epiphanies, which I have hundreds of every year, I had an epiphany a year ago, we, almost two years ago, that said that the state of Nevada made marijuana, medical marijuana legal, but the city council, every time it was on the agenda, they kept pushing it back, and I said, no, this is legal stuff. People are sick and dying. Let's give out the medical marijuana licenses. And then they started doing it. And now there are, I don't even know how many, 10 different places have medical marijuana. And now you even have recreational marijuana. But one of the problems, the biggest problem of all, the biggest problem of all is that now the citizens out there who don't come down to the meeting and hear my warnings, they don't come down here, and the media wacko freaks never report this. They don't really do it. Oh, now and then. But the problem with this marijuana is that it, the testing situation is diabolical. I wish the chief of police would take a stance. And the fire chief, I nominated them for positions. There's enough people in here that should be taking a stance. It should be headlines every day because people are losing their jobs and people are not getting jobs because of the archaic um, plan for failure marijuana testing that takes place out there where they use your pee, pee to determine whether or not you are inebriated. It's wrong. They should be using swab tests or any kind of test somebody could design that would tell you the condition of the person at the time they were being either taking their test for their new job or being pulled over because the police thought that they were uh, inebriated. You need to have a new, and I challenge the media wacko freaks to write something about this and do something. And fight Sam down to come and tell the people about it. Does anybody understand what I just said? The medical marijuana Thank testing you, is we have any terrible. On this item? Madam Vice Mayor, we have no further oh. general public comment Thank on you. consent. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, any council members wish to pull any consent items for discussion? Thank <laughs> you.